Hello guys, welcome to Plus Equal. In the last tutorial, we created a shared in Unity with just primitive shapes in order for you to know how to use the transform component. In today's video, we are going to add physics to our share and make it fall on the ground. So let's begin. This will be really short. The first thing we need to do is to have a plane something for the share to land on so we go to the 3d objects and select plane and we can rename this to ground as you can see the ground is on the middle of the share and that's not good so select the share and let's push it up so as i said the transform is a component and you can see it here and every game object as simple as it should be should have at least one component that is transform other objects can have more than one component, are more complex objects. Such are the base of our share, already have a transform, stuff for the mesh and a collider. And this is really important for us. Let's zoom here, you can see that this green outline, this is our collider. And every piece of our share have its own collider. Of course this could be really not the way you want to do this for a final game because it will be too complex but for now it's perfect and for our example we will behave just fine so let's apply some gravity to our share for that we just need to go to share and you can see the green outline for every collider of the share and in add component we can search for rigid body not rigid body 2d rigid body select this one and make sure that the use gravity is checked in usually by default it is and let's hit play to see what happens well we see that our share just fall down on the ground and that's because the ground have a mesh collider and now the share have a rigid body and every piece of it have another collider if you would like to try it, let's press play again. And now let's go to scene mode while the scene is actually playing. And you can edit in real time. Something like I will grab the share, I will push it up, and she will fall down. And it will fall down automatically. If I rotate this, you can see that the share is now taking a huge nap in the ground. I can actually rotate this in the other direction as well. If it gets stuck, it's because we forced this to happen. By rotating here in the scene, let's push it up. And we can see that the collisions are perfect. The share just fell off balance and hit the ground with our, our base here. And this is pretty good. We can rotate it in so many ways now that we even lost the share. Goodbye, share. <laughs> now, we, what we can do as well is to grab the game view to this side and let's put some. Let's actually put this to two. And if you hit tab, you will go automatically to the other one and just press two again. I want my view to be just like this. So I will grab my camera, game object, align with view, and now you can see that we have the same view here. And I will try this uh, with another object, 3D object sphere. I can just reset this and push it up. And now let's hit play. Nothing happens. At least to the sphere, right? Why is that? Because we didn't add a rigid body to the sphere. So in the sphere, it actually had already a collider, but you need to add a rigid body. So add a rigid body. Let's maximize on play, and let's play again. And now our sphere actually interacted with our share, and that was pretty good. If you would like to try this again, 
now we could change here the movement of, of the sphere and as you can see she's having some momento to that direction and if it goes into the, the chair she bounced back and that's it we could hit the sphere with our shed if we wanted to oops I just grabbed a piece of it I could grab the chair and put it here or drop it on top of the ball and you saw that the chair rotated as well well collisions get really funny you just need to try it out so that's it for this video guys I hope you learned something new with this rigid body component and how to apply it this, we are really just scratching the surface of 3D real time creations I hope you are enjoying this kind of video so far I really want to bring you more content but that will happen just in its own time for that to happen just leave a like and subscribe to the channel to keep tuned with my last creations thanks a lot for watching I'll see you in the next video Bye bye.